It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Let me tell you something. I want to hear your opinion. Do you have the Wendy Williams joke? I want you to see the visual. Oh, wait, what happened? This is listen. We're doing a segment. It's things yeah. shit you won't care about next week. Hot topic segment. We just gonna run through a bunch of frivolous news. I love week. it. Yes, this is great. I love this. <laughs> I love this. If they produce it right, it'll be great. That's true. You need to drop. Can you? Yeah, play the, play the what play. was you just doing? Carrie's ex fiance was tragically murdered Hold over on, the stop weekend. It. Let me set she, it up. Okay. Wendy, right? Yeah. Uh, was was mocking the death of Drew Carey's ex fiance. Drew Carey, Price is Right host. Yeah. His ex fiance got. Pushed off a balcony, I think it was, by another ex-boyfriend in Hollywood Hills. Oh, that guy was on uh, Kill Tony. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. He was an inspiring comic, and he was he did the Kill Tony show. What? Tony Hinchcliffe and uh, Brian Redman did this great show in L.A. at the Comedy Store, and he was one of the comics that had been on it in the past. The guy that yeah, dude, Drew Carey's ex-fiance. What, keep going, keep going. Shouts to Kill Tony, though. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play it. This is Wendy Williams talking about it. Drew Carey's ex-fiance was tragically murdered over the weekend. She lived with a roommate, a girl roommate, and the roommate heard the screaming. The neighbors all around the neighborhood heard the scr screaming, and they called 911. Once the cops got there, she was down there dead on the ground, um, was pushed off of a third floor balcony. I'll give you a little backstory. She was killed not by Drew, but by, by the ex Come on down. And then she did her then she did her head like this. And so yesterday on all day on Twitter it was hashtag cancel uh cancel Wendy. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're a comic. Yeah. Uh we've talked about, you know, being able to make jokes out of anything. Yeah. What do you think? I think if Drew killed her, then it would have been a really good joke. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But Drew didn't kill her. Yeah. But if Drew threw his Girl off the balcony. Yeah. And then was like, come on down. Yeah. I could see why you would make the joke. I don't know if it would be a good joke, though. I mean, I don't know. Like, I just think it's weird that a woman, yeah. Wendy Williams, would yeah. make light of what essentially is domestic violence. Because she's been at the hand of it. Well, just, yeah, I mean, just the fact that a woman got killed by another man in that way. Yeah. Like, what was the point? Look, I defend jokes, man. I, I'm yeah, always even when they don't come defend. from comedians? Yeah. Because I, I, at the end of the day, like, we just got to defend humor. I think that she's trying to do it. Now, this is one se uh, second where I say, like, I kind of get it because she's making a joke about a hypothetical that didn't happen. She's like, Drew didn't do it. Yeah. Imagine Drew did it. Come on down. And then boom. Yeah, right? Yeah. But Drew didn't do it. So she's making a joke about something that did not happen. She's yeah, actually yeah, yeah. not making a joke about the dead because the dead didn't get dead like that. By the way, her audience? Yeah. Crickets. Yeah. I mean, nobody snickered. Nobody giggled. Yeah. Nobody was like, oh. It was just like. The fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, Wendy? Like, you know what I mean. Yeah. Well, I mean, it wasn't funny enough. I'm trying to think. If we could think. I don't of think it was ways. funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not, not. I just think certain things you have to leave alone. If it's funny enough, it's funny enough. I, ugh, we no. learned with the Kobe thing. Tony had that great joke about Kobe, but it wasn't about Kobe. Say what? It was about the fact that he died. It was, it was just a really funny spin on it. So sometimes there's funny around something. Yeah, and and and, and, and you know what's so good about that joke yeah. as well is when he said the joke. That is the reaction people had, right? People were like, "Damn, Kobe died? Nah, bro. Yeah, no, you're not upset. Kobe. Yeah. Not Kobe. So when you come with the Kobe passing, mm -hmm. never. Like, I guess what I'm saying is you can make a joke about something. You just got to find the right angle to do the joke. So that one was just yeah, a murder. Was being, ain't, yeah, the murder ain't it though. I mean, dude, you know how many OJ jokes? Not about Nicole, though. Yeah. Really? Dude, of nah, course. I know OJ caught a lot of jokes, but I don't, never, I don't remember too many jokes about Nicole. It was OJ that used to catch the jokes. Yeah, but... And I they think... would make jokes about, like, you know... What? OJ cutting the cheese. Or, you know what I mean? Stupid shit like that. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know. I was just thinking... Matter of fact, let me Google. Hold on. <laughs> let me Google. <laughs> hold on. Dude, hold tons hold on, of hold on, OJ hold on, jokes, bro. Hold on, hold on. Let me Google. Let me 100%. Google. It gets tricky. Google. But I always tend to... to to defend jokes because people are going to be offended by Even something. Even by non-comedians? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I mean, yeah. 
I do it, man. I, I because I I think the joke is worth defending. The idea that you should be able to make a joke is worth defending. It's not like it's not like comedians sign up for the army or something like that. And like we're here to protect the country. Like at the end of the day, we're just like anybody else making jokes. So this is a good OJ Simpson joke, but yeah. it's not about the murder. Okay, go. What is it? Do you know what the L.A. Rams and the Los Angeles p- Police Department have in common? What's that? Neither are very effective against the run. That's a good, that's a good, that's, a, that's cool. It's a, it's, it's around it. Right. You right. know what I mean? Right, right, right. Let me see the end, man. I mean, these are like, like street jokes we're talking about. Like, I'm sure. Oh, this is actually a good article that came out back in 94 mm-hmm. about comedians making OJ Simpson jokes and about the dark humor surrounding them. And it's comedians defending why they decided to make OJ Simpson jokes. There's right. one, there's one dude says, I don't feel bad. Simpson's a millionaire. Anyone in the spotlight is fair game. Right, I think it, it, he's saying we're making jokes about OJ. Maybe, but it's people a, made jokes man, about the fucking. Corny. I'm glad comedy has evolved. You what heard about it? you heard about OJ Simpson's alibi? The night of the murders, he was waiting to be served at Denny's. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Another comedian said we joke about Simpson because we don't want it to be true. Yeah, I think there's something about that. You know, I mean, you know me. I I defend the joke or the right to make the joke because. In order for a joke to like get funny, it has to start off in an unfunny place. I heard that Hertz just renewed OJ's contract. Only now he's making license plates for him. Hey, man, I don't know, man. He's like one line. I'm glad man. comedy is the football. I'm trying to 94. think if I had a good OJ bit back in the day. What I have? Something? Nah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> You didn't have anything back in the day when it came out? I mean, you were doing radio. You must have, like, spoken about it. I don't know I wasn't doing no fucking radio in 94, Andrew. How old do you think I am? (laughs) 63 or something? I don't know. How old are you, bro? I I didn't start doing radio until 99. Really? Yeah. I started off as an intern in 98, and I got on the air in 99. Yo, I'm tripping, bro. I didn't realize how long ago OJ was, man. I remember the decision. Do you remember the decision? LeBron? Nah. What? The court just... Dis- <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't fucking tell me that when you think the decision, you don't think LeBron James you're going right, to Miami, you're bro. Right, you're right. I'm taking my goddamn talents to South Beach. That we never thought about O.J. Simpson in the decision. Now you're right, but I'm talking about the court... The acquittal. The acquittal, yes. If the yes. gloves don't fit, you must acquit. Bro, I remember they brought us in elementary school to the auditorium, the entire school, and they told us the decision... I remember I was in... Really? I was, I don't know, between kindergarten and sixth grade, right? Was that I'm during Black that. History Month? Probably. <laughs> it was probably during mm. Black History Month. And um, they put all the black kids outside, I remember that. And uh, they did not do that. Just joking. Um, they brought us into the auditorium and they said, uh, we just want to let you know that OJ has been acquitted. He is not guilty. It was in October. And... We're all kids. We have no clue what the fuck is really going on. Mm -hmm. The entire auditorium erupts with applause. Why? I do not know. I don't remember any of that. Like when I watched the OJ 30 for 30, I don't remember that around. Can I tell you how big this was for anybody listening right now? You know who I was for Halloween one year? OJ Simpson. Judge Ito. Who the fuck is that? That was the fucking Asian judge who wow. presided on the case. You That's been how offensive, big bro. This- <laughs> You've been fucking problematic, bro. Fuck. You've been culturally appropriating this shit, bro. You should be ashamed of yourself. Why? Bro. How? What did the costume look like, Andrew? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all really want to know? Are that? there any pictures of this anywhere? Honestly, I just put on my Taekwondo outfit. <laughs> I did. They're like, they're like, who are you? I was like, I'm Judge Edo, off duty Judge Edo. No, I bought a mask. I bought an Edo mask. Yeah, they had mask. Yeah, he was that big, son. If this I was don't remember Judge Edo, massive, bro. bro. I remember Johnny Cochran. I remember Robert Kardashian. I remember the fucking. I never remember the, the, Kardashian. The, the the guy who wanted to bury OJ. What was his name? He was a cop. Oh, yeah, the racist cop. I can't remember his name right now. They had the racist cop. And then I remember uh, his boy, Kato, something, Kato. Remember OJ's boy? He was living in his uh, boathouse or some shit. The one they said was driving? Nah, white guy. Mark Mark Furman. Furman. Yeah, Yeah, Mark Furman, Mark Furman, Mark Furman. Calvin Kato or something like that. I don't know. Tell us what the costume was, Andrew. I had a judge (laughs) robe, and then I had a... Asian guy's head mask. It was a Judge Ito mask. I bought it at the store. Judge Ito. That's that's not it, but something essentially like that. 
Oh, he really did that mask. Yeah, that's it not was called Judge Ito. That's not cultural appropriation. If they're selling the mask of a person and you wear the mask, yeah. that's fair game. They were selling the mask. They were selling a mask. I didn't just buy an Asian person's head Why and put it on. Why would they sell Judge Ito for Halloween? OJ is the scary one. That's who the fuck you dress up as if you want to fucking scare some <laughs> yeah, people. Yeah, you're right. What the fuck? You're right. <laughs> Why would you dress up as Judge Ito? It was a different time, man. Back then you could do this shit. Yeah, My parents yeah, yeah. bought it for me. They never thought anything about it. So you thought Judge Ito was a hero? I didn't know what I thought. I just thought he was part of the case, and I was like, I'd be funny. And he's the guy that essentially let OJ off. Son. Yo, why Judge Ito don't get more smoke? Why should he? I'm just saying. The jury <laughs> let him off. I know. But yeah, 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 you're right. Right? God, he's damn. just there to preside over the case. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder how those jurors feel. Has anybody ever talked to any of the jurors from the OJ Simpson trial? Well, OJ hasn't killed since. <laughs> Which is good. You know, like if yeah. you're like a serial killer, like you needed yeah. to do well, that's it. That's a good OJ Simpson joke. You heard OJ's that? doing stand up now, right? <laughs> He's oh, you go see him, he killed. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I hate Charlamagne's stand up voice. And anytime you go into a bit, you use this stand up voice. So, you know, you like turn into Rodney Dangerfield. My favorite, <laughs> my favorite comedians are the ones that talk like that because they bomb every time. <laughs> Cause you, cause people can just hear the setup coming. You know what I'm saying? You just hear the setup coming, and it's like, yeah. I don't know what you're about to say, yeah, but yeah. I promise you, oh, that, that Angela, I didn't know deliver. you did stand up. Oh. Yo, do we need to go back to the what a fucking idiot segment? <laughs> 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 do we need to go back? <laughs> 